Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. I've had a lot on my mind as of late. One thing I keep thinking of, well actually before I get into this, I do apologize for the bad quality in um, sound. I'm not using my normal setup right now, I'm actually using my core computer's um, camera and uh, microphone, which are pretty bad, but I mean, given that my roommate is doing some stuff in our room right now, it's really the only option I have. I mean, I could use my phone, but it's kind of dead. <sighs> Either way, I've had a lot on my mind as of late. Kind of a mix of negative and positive things. The negatives just kind of go back to everything that I've talked about prior to this, which, um, I guess the one thing that sticks out the most when it comes to what's been going through my head recently is that I've been going through a lot of situations where people just, like, they'll befriend me or act like they're befriending me or something, and then things happen for a while and they just use. They'll trample and then decide, hey, uh, we're done with you. I'm just gonna go do this with other people now. Nice knowing you, bye. And it's like, I don't know, people do that a lot. It's not just me either. I know quite a few people IRL who this has happened to, and it's... For those who do make these actions, it's just, why? What what do you gain off of the of seeing other people like this? I just don't get it. Maybe there's maybe some of it. I'm not saying it's all people who do this. I'm not saying every each individual one intentionally does it. It's kind of like cheating in a way, I guess. Where like it's not always intentional, but it really kind of depends. And yes, that actually is true about cheating. I'm not saying I've done it, it's just I've done the studying on this, and that is true. Um, anyway, those are kind of the negative things that have been going through my head, specifically today. Um, a couple positive things. One of them you guys will actually see my reaction to later on, in about an, uh, uh, two hours? A couple hours, yeah. Um, it's something that i kind of happy that finally happened after almost a year of it not happening. Um, I don't know. That's not the only thing, though. If that was the only positive thing, I'd be screwed. Um, I am grateful for the people that I do have, though, right now, currently, who are consistently there. Well, sometimes they're not, but usually when they're not, there's usually good reason. Um, and I can't exactly pin anybody for that, and I wouldn't. Um, I mean, there's no logical reason to do so. So I wouldn't do that. But I don't know. I, I think these negatives and positives, these pros and cons, they kind of clash, and they just, I don't know, they... The pros and cons of my life have a tendency to fight against each other like there's no tomorrow. Now, everyone knows the phrase, um, when there's darkness, there's bound to be light to contradict it, that kind of thing. I think that's probably part of what it is, but not as a whole, just because if there's, if that's true, there's way, the, recently for me there's been a lot, a way more negative than there has positive, in fact, I'm going to say this, about 30 minutes prior to making this video, I actually, um, actually, no, it's a lot, it was more like, I was asleep 30 minutes ago, it was more like three, four hours ago, prior to making this video, where I was talking with someone, they kept me posted on some things, and I was fine with it, but like 10 minutes ago an updated post was presented and this person is someone who I befriended a while ago or I was very I became very close to a while ago by own choice just because of 
time spent, I guess, over time. And I don't even know how to say it. But this person pretty much completely went against what they were originally planning. And this person, this particular person lost my trust quite some time ago. Kept in touch and regained it slightly, but kept, like, getting... They were one of those people who, like, they would gain the trust, but then lose it that fast. Just because they don't know how to act. And that's... That's so many people nowadays. It's ridiculous. It's like people don't know how to do social stuff. Social cues. It's like last year destroyed people's ability to be able to know social cues at all. And it's sad. Anyway, I'm not going to ramble about this for too long. It's been about six minutes almost. I am going to leave this video here. For those of you who stuck around for this rant, thank you. Um, I don't know. What, what are your guys' thoughts on this whole thing? I, I guess the main core of all this just kind of cores out to be that there are so many people who don't know social cues nowadays because of the past year as of the time of the making and upload of this video that it's like... Why what is our social cues just not a thing anymore? Is it pretty much just like do whatever? I don't know. What do you guys think? It's social cues are non-existent apparently. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting before I go insane because I already did that a little bit ago and I don't want to deal with it. Plus, I have this other video that I'm planning on recording because I missed the live version doing it live, so I do need to record that, um, I'll actually be doing it, uh, my roommate will be coming back and forth, but I will be doing that at my actual recording set, um, hopefully things work out, we'll see, anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys, um, if you agree with me, or you at least liked what I had to say about this topic, push that like button, and so far you can't sit anymore, and if you really liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel because I do buy stuff like this every day, whether it's better quality or not. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Check the links on the side of my head if you want to check out more live stuff. But that being said, as I said, I'm going to head off, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.